Good afternoon, guys. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Um, for the simple reason, I just wanted to bring you a quick video. Um, Sarah Kirsten asked me on a comment, uh, a previous video, on what a good photo, you know, how to take a good photo with a cam, uh, camera phone. So, I figured I'd do this whole video on a camera phone. I'm using my cell phone, my regular phone that I use every day and all that stuff. And pretty much some good tips. Most of these are automatic phones. So therefore they're always, you know, haunting and searching and stuff like that. If you don't have a phone like this, that's great. Because then you can control some stuff. Mine's always searching. So the first thing that I would do is, one, go ahead and uh, get a app that would take care of that. But I don't have any on here, so we're just going to go with what I got. Because that's always the best thing to do. Go with what you got. That's a good thing, okay? I mean, you don't have to buy any extra equipment then. The next thing I would do is, like, for example, if I go like this right here, the background's all blown out behind me. But if I turn towards the sun and everything, my face is lit up and stuff like that. So, therefore, you can see my face better and stuff like that. So, there's another tip. Uh, point the direction of the light that you're heading to. Unless, you know, the thing is, unless the uh, uh, landscape or portrait or something isn't like that. If you're doing it with uh, people and everything, not a fantastic tip for the simple reason the eyes will be all squinty. So, I mean, facing directly towards the sun isn't a good thing for them. So you want to introduce some light somehow this way too. Although I'm not completely badly lit, just my face is in a shadow because the sun's behind me. So there's a few tips. Um, another thing, like I said, get a phone that has a uh, uh, manual functions if you have that. If not, well then, work with what you got. Uh, use the rule of thirds, leading lines, and you know all the other photography rules and stuff like that. And then the biggest tip, and the stuff that helps me out the most, and with all these photos that I'm showing you now and everything, because I've taken all these photos here with my cell phone throughout this whole video, I've taken these all done with my cell phone and everything like that, is use an app to edit them. Don't just go in and uh, go and be like, oh, I'm going to take a picture, click, yes, that's Instagram worthy, yay, okay? Uh, edit it just like you would do a regular photo. So, show your best work only. That's another good thing. And pretty much just go ahead and enjoy yourself out there doing the photos, taking the photos and stuff like that. Anyway, Sarah, there's a few quick pointers for you and everything. As far as doing cell phone photography, I do it a lot because of the fact that my Instagram account is, that's all I use is my cell phone. Well, I can't say that. 99.9% .9 is all cell phone use, everything on my Instagram account. So therefore, I have all that stuff on there. So, um, all that's mainly done with my cell phone. And I enjoy using my cell phone for that stuff because it's just quick, easy, get it done and gone. So I mean, get it done, get it posted, show some content. So anyways, that's my tips for you this week. Um, if you like this, great. Hit the subscribe button. If not, um, there we go. And it's getting windy. And I'm sure the lighting situation changed completely now. Um, so anyways, if you like this, great. If not, say we're sorry. There'll be a different video up for you next week. Hopefully you like that one. Um, I do sell some merch. This is not it. And I say that quite a bit too. And uh, just like and comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Alright, talk to you later guys. Bye.